All right, so let's talk about Krabat, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. So, um, contrary to what the title might have you believe, this is not based on the uh, famous, uh, yeah, the famous uh, what, what's, symphony that inspired the equally famous Mickey Mouse cartoon in the Fantasia movie, but... Uh, it is based on an old, uh, well, let me see, it's based on a book, which in turn is uh, based on an old Sorbian folktale. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, so this is a Czechoslovakian movie. Um, it's by Carol Zeman. Am I pronouncing it right? I don't know. Um, but, um... It's a cutout, yeah, cutout animation, and this is like probably the most top notch cutout animation I've seen yet. Like, yeah, def the animation is the definite highlight of the movie, but this, this movie does have a good story and some characters that, you know, you do generally care about to kind of back it up. So, yeah, it's. So yeah, needless to say, my thoughts on this movie are pretty high. Um, anyway, here's the story. So, a boy named Krabat, he, um, he's a homeless beggar who, um, you know, he travels across towns until um, one day he gets tempted by a raven to... Um, travel to this old mill and it turns out the raven is a uh, sorcerer who um, you know can shapeshift into a bunch of different animals um, but yeah the sorcerer kind of traps him and uh, makes him his slave and uh, but you know in exchange he's uh, supposed to teach him black magic so yeah um but yeah, there are other boys who uh, work under the sorcerer as well. Um, so yeah, they do. Yeah, they do manual labor around the mill, um, and you know the whole time the sorcerer is watching them in the form of this uh, creepy cat with this like really creepy meow meowing noise. Um, and yeah, at one point the uh, main character hurts the cat not realizing it's the sorcerer having Trent yeah taken the form of a cat you know um but yeah after he does enough work um you know the sorcerer starts teaching him black magic and you know he learns to turn into a bunch of different animals like the sorcerer as well as the other boys um and yeah, along the way, the sorcerer also makes them perform all these little tasks, um, mostly like schemes to make them rich. And then, yeah, then like during Christmas, they, uh, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, every Christmas the oldest of the slaves um, has to duel with the sorcerer, and uh, yeah, he always wins, so it's a fight to the death. So yeah, the oldest slave dies, and then, yeah, and then right after that a new slave uh, steps in. Like, <coughs> it seems to be like each slave is a uh, year younger than the last so yeah um so yeah the boys there for a couple years um there are two more boys that come in after him who are younger than he is um but uh yeah um but as time goes by um he falls in love with this uh, girl who, uh, yeah, some, uh, well, let me see, does it say what, 
where she comes from, is she like a well, whatever the case, um yeah, he falls in love with this girl and uh you know, they secretly have little dates while uh, the sorcerer is not looking. Um and then along the way, um, the main character and one of the other boys, um, you know, they uh, sneak around and, you know, read through the sorcerer's book where they learn, like, <clears throat> yeah, the secrets to uh, defeating him. And uh, basically they find out that love, yeah, that his magic is uh, defeated by love. So, yeah. Needless to say, the villain of the movie is defeated by the power of love. <laughs> and yeah, it's basically the girl who kind of ends up saving the day. Um, definitely with the help of the main character and stuff, but still. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, there's all these other little details about like the tasks that the sorcerer sets for them. Um... So yeah, that's uh, the basic story. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, top-notch animation. Um, you know, you generally care about the characters mostly, mostly because of the. Uh, you know, this is a creepy movie. It's um, yeah, it's kind of like a horror movie. I mean, uh, let me see. Uh, Wikipedia lists it as a dark fantasy, which makes enough sense. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some horror elements in this. Um, the sorcerer himself is pretty creepy. He's um, like he's got this really nasty scar on his head. I think uh, he lost one of his eyes. Um, let's see. Uh, and you know, because he's always keeping a watchful eye on the, the slaves. And, you know, uh, the way he punishes them, yeah, it's, it's a pretty suspenseful movie. Although, it's um, somewhat watered down a bit because, um, well, simply because they do manage to fool him a couple times. So, you know, it shows that he's not, um, yeah, he's not that invincible but still he's like a very threatening villain and uh yeah a pretty effective villain is at that um so yeah um there's not a whole lot to say about the characters otherwise i mean i will mention that um this uh movie's told through narration like the characters don't generally talk or I guess they do talk, but, like, most of the, yeah, most of the dialogue is narration, so, yeah, um, um, so in terms of character, there's not a whole lot to them, but still, the sorcerer is an effective villain, um, and yeah, you still care about the characters, you do, you do feel emotions when, like, one of them dies, or, you know, when, you know, one of them gets punished or something, so, yeah, you, you care about them, you want them to get out of this okay, um, and, yes, you want them to take down that sorcerer, um, so, yeah, it's a very effective story, I can, I mean, it, it's based on an old folk tale. I'm not sure, um, how much of that might have been, uh, you know, updated for the book that this is based on, but, uh, but yeah, it's, um, a very effective story, and, you know, got, yeah, I love the animation, um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm not sure if I have a whole lot else to say, um, try to think if there's anything else, really, um, I can't think of anything really at the moment, so I will say, as usual, if there's anything else I feel I need to add, I'll put it in the comments. Um, otherwise, I highly recommend this movie. Um, so I watched it on Amazon Prime. That seems to be the only place I could find where I could uh, 
watch the uh, yeah watch the movie with English subtitles because yeah there's no other way I could find that gave me any English translation um, but yeah I uh, so yeah if you got a buck to spare yeah feel free to check this movie out on Amazon Prime um, and uh, yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. And I guess I will leave it at that for now. Mash it and smash it, signing off.